What is going on everyone? This video is about how to add a column to an existing Redshift table. And we're gonna be doing this using my category table as an example. So we have an existing category table in my Redshift database. And I'm gonna show you how we can add the date modified column to this table. So using the Redshift query editor version two, we can see the existing table we wanna add a new column to. So I'm just going to add a new tab and we're just gonna call this add new column. So to add a new column, we're going to start with the alter table statement. And now we're going to pass in the schema of the table that we want to edit. So my schema is public. Now we're going to add the name of the table that we want to add a new column to. So it is category underscore one. So now we add an add statement and now the name of the column that we want to add. So this is the new column that doesn't exist. So the column I want to add is called date underscore modified. So now we want to pass in a field type. So the next parameter is the field type or my date modified column is going to be a date field. Great. So let's just give this a run here. Great. So we've successfully created our new column. So if we just do a quick statement here to query our table now, select star from category one table. We can see now that our column has been added. However, we do not have any data associated with our existing record. So there's many ways of updating this column. You can use Python. If your query is simple enough, for example, in my case, you know, I'm going to assume that the date that I've added is today for all of this data. So I'm just going to go ahead and add an update statement here to update the data. Again, we're passing in the name of the table here. And now we can use the set statement. And I'm going to say date modified is equal to the current date. So it's gonna be 2023-03-11. Now, because I'm not adding a where statement, it's going to impact the entire table. However, if I wanna lock it down to specific IDs, I could do where cat ID is equal to three. However, in my case, let's just update every single record. So I'm just gonna highlight the statement, give it a run. And now if we select the all the records in the table again, we see we have successfully updated all our records. So I hope you found this quick tutorial helpful on how to insert a new column into an existing Redshift table. Thanks so much for watching. And if you thought this video was helpful, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more videos on working with data and AWS. Thanks again and see you next time.